One of the reporters behind the story, Jim Tankersley, who covers economic and tax policy at the New York Times. We should also note that we reached out to FedEx, who said the CEO, Fred Smith, is not available for an interview. They also said, uh, just to cross uh, a couple of issues, Jim, uh, first of all, that you claimed they paid zero tax in 2018 when, when they, in fact, say that they did pay some tax and that they notified you of that before the, uh, the story went to print. Is that fair? Uh, well, no. I, what we said was that they owed zero tax in 2018. You can make tax payments in any year for lots of different reasons. We asked FedEx to explain to us exactly how much they paid and owed in taxes in 2018, in 2019, in 2017. Um, we gave them a long and detailed list of questions months ago. They never responded to any of those detailed questions, and uh, we stand by all the facts in our story. Uh, on the headline, Jim, uh, ultimately, uh, should the person that is responsible to answer questions on the benefits uh, and pitfalls of the tax cut be the politicians that enacted it? or business leaders that, uh, that ultimately have a duty to, to serve their shareholders as best they can? Well, I think it's a wonderful question. I, I think that we have a responsibility to hold both politicians accountable for the promises they make and the supporters of politicians accountable for the promises they make to help sell policy changes. And in this particular case, the promise was very clear, that a cut in the corporate tax rate would lead to an immediate and sustained boost in business investment in the United States. We have not seen that. We have not seen anywhere close to that. What we have seen is uh, essentially lower, slower growth in investment post-tax cuts under President Trump than pre-tax cuts under President Trump. Jim, FedEx is a very specific story. Obviously, they've had a lot of issues in Europe with their TNT acquisition and how that's rolled out, especially on the heels of a cyber attack. They have a lot of exposure in Asia, so all of the U.S.-China trade back and forth has, has impacted them a lot as well. When you looked through the numbers, how much of this was FedEx-specific versus some of the other companies that might be in similar positions? For example, UPS. Well, um, sure. Another great question. FedEx is in, entirely indicative of the investment response that we've seen uh, overall in, in, from companies. Uh, in fact, uh, we've, there's more than three dozen uh, companies, I believe, that zeroed out their tax liability after the cuts uh, per our analysis. But we have not seen any. We did a, a regression analysis of size of tax cut versus uh, amount of increase of investment and found no relationship. And if, if anything, there was a, a weak relationship in the inverse, that companies that got smaller size tax cuts had slightly more uh, increases in investment.